Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another Let's Play. Now today I'm pretty much going to continue where I left off last time. I did a couple of very small things while I was away. I added a bit more wool to the floor. I still need to go share a few more sheep, but not too many. And also I actually moved this piece of redstone here down one block because it was actually interfering with the, the store in that when I flicked the lever and the door was open the door would then close, which um, is, was not really too bad, but I decided I'd rather it didn't do that. So I fixed that. Now, um, okay. So, what I'm going to do first in this episode is see if I can find uh, a bit of wool. But what um, I am going to do for the majority of this episode is uh, more lighting. And I'm also going to talk about a thing or two. Uh, because I was suggested a couple of topics and uh, one by and now please correct me uh, if I'm saying it wrong again I'm trying to speak your name right uh, Foost I'm hoping I've got that right this time um, and you suggested to me uh, that I should uh, speak about what other games I like um, and I think that's a pretty good topic because it's quite broad and I can sort of speak about my um, background um, and, and what games I sort of grew up on which I think is, is quite fair so I'll just yeah two more seeds well don't jump Whew, that was close I only made a stupid mistake there um, so I haven't been a, like, a, a huge huge like a gamer um, throughout my life. Um, I've never actually owned a um, like a PlayStation or an Xbox. Um, I started out on really really budget PC games when I was probably maybe eight years old at a guess. Um, okay what don't I need? Got a lot of stuff on me. Um, I'll just put these away. Yeah, so a lot of games like uh, uh, when I was very very young I'd play like Solitaire you know all those uh, really sort of basic games you'd find on a Windows PC that, that was sort of what I would play when I was a lot younger um, but I did discover when I was a little bit older not a lot older just a little bit um, games like um, uh, Worms World Party that was a big one for me when I was I'm not sure how old it would be, probably 10 or 11 um, I got that game I first saw it uh, actually I first saw uh, Worms through Worms Armageddon on a friend's Playstation um, and from there I sort of decided I was quite interested in that franchise and I bought um, Worms for a party and that was quite cool I, uh, what am I doing? Okay, I'll press that lever down. I don't think that lever had any effect on on this. I'll just have a little check. Turn that off. Okay, good. Um, so yeah, that was one of the first things. And also I was quite keen on Age of Empires. Uh, specifically Age of Empires 2 because at the time Age of Empires 3 wasn't out. Um, and by the way, I never really clicked with Age of Empires 3 either. Like, I kind of liked it, but kind of didn't. Oh, that's not right. This section needs to be one block higher. Ooh, okay, that block needs to be there. Um, I have to make it go that way. Yeah, so, but, um, I think I was, I think Age of Empires was a little bit expensive, um, uh, when I was young, because I didn't have a lot of money, you know, I'm not, I was, I'm not like a, I was never rich or anything like that, um, and so I bought this game called The Settlers 3, which is a similar type of thing to Age of Empires, it's a real time strategy, and um, I have to say that was probably one of the best things, or one of the most sort of um, time I've ever spent on a game is on that game, I did spend a lot of time on that, um, and also uh, the following sequel, uh, The Settlers 4, 
which I played for many years, and it had a map editor and everything, and I really enjoyed it. So, basically, um, my gaming history, in a way, is mostly based from uh, real-time strategies. I've played a lot of them over the years, and, um, and, I, and I do enjoy them, but they have to be sort of the right kind of theme. I don't really like futuristic type type games at all. As soon as you start getting uh, sort of modern warfare type weapons um, into a real time strategy, I don't enjoy it so much. Um, so I so that's why I probably didn't connect quite so well with the um, with that latest Age of Empires game because it um, oh oh yeah that's right actually because it did have um, other weapons or other units which had guns but they weren't too overpowered so I still did quite like that gun uh, game <laughs> gun um, I just never bought it that's all okay how am I gonna do this Okay, so I've got some of the lights. Oh, of course. Um, which I think I know what I'm going to do here. I might bring this round. I think it was slightly bugged there. So I was a bit silent there, I was a little bit confused. So there's some some other games I've sort of uh, like real time strategies that I've owned include the following. I had Battles for Middle Earth 2, which I enjoyed. I had that for a while, but not really long. Um, I played it a bit but it got a bit boring because it was quite quite same 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 every time every time you play it. Um, why is that doing that? Oh well that one's obvious. I need a repeater. Okay, that's fair enough. Um, I also own Rome Total War, um, and I did enjoy that game a lot. Um, I did play that qu quite a bit for a while. Um, it wasn't what like a. I, I guess it's a little bit different to my to a sort of traditional real time strategy where uh, it's actually turn based, but it still has the same sort of principles. And I did enjoy it a lot, and um, that's probably about it for them. Um, in terms of like bigger games like uh, Call of Duty, um, I, as I said, like, I've never owned it, uh, but I I did quite enjoy some of it. Ah, oh, bugger. Um, I I never I never I first played it um, through Call of Duty World at War. Um, and I did enjoy that game quite a lot, um, but I never, I never actually bought it though. Uh, I, I, I think that uh, Modern Warfare 2 was nowhere near as good, to be honest. I didn't really enjoy the gameplay so much. In my opinion, there was too many machine guns, and it was more about spraying and less about actually having skill. Ah, I'll just quickly go click my arrow. Yeah, and, and um, in terms of Black Ops, it was I thought it was a bit a bit better than Modern Warfare 2, but still not brilliant. And then 
Modern Warfare 3, I've only played it a couple of times, but I don't really like it at all. So that's just uh, that's that. I don't, it's not really related to too much. So I didn't. I've never really spent much time on that. And other little games I've played over the years have been various sort of um, downloadable um, Super Mario games. And also, actually, I forgot to mention um, I had a. I think I might have mentioned that I had a Game Boy Advance. I'm not sure if I did, but I did actually have. Um, a Super Mario game on there as well and I enjoyed that quite a lot and that's probably around about it for sort of my gaming over the years um, actually what have I got here I think I've actually finished that lights room now um, I could probably remove these torches so I'll just go ahead and do that very quickly. And of course there's still a light coming in from out here. Might remove these torches as well. Even though that might mean mobs might get a little bit close. I'll put a torch down here and down here. I'll probably have some sort of street lights around here somewhere but I'm not too worried about that yet. Ooh, jeez, what the hell? Okay, I made a big mess of that. That looked really bad. I should have killed him much quicker than that. Actually, now, what am I doing? I probably should keep the bones. I could need them. Okay. So now I'm going to very, very quickly start the lights up here. Uh, I might actually, probably where these torches are are pretty good places for them, so I'll just knock them out. And replace them with lamps. I really do like these lamps, they're very, very, very useful. Uh, I might actually turn this back on. It's a thing, you like have these on and off sort of uh, switches and stuff, but you never really would actually turn them off. <laughs> it just, it's a pretty silly idea to turn them off, because then you could get mobs spawning inside, which wouldn't really be ideal. Okay, I might have the switch for this. Um, I can't really have it on that wall, so I might have it. I might actually have it here next to this light. Now this will actually turn this light on, won't it? Yeah, it will. That's okay. It means the redstone's even simpler. So if I dig in from here, I have to go down one, two, three, one, two, Hopefully I'll be able to find the uh, the area, and I should be able to get my redstone out and put it right there. Um, I'll just quickly do this very quickly. Very quickly. Shut that. Awesome. All right, so we've got most of this place lit up with um with lamps now. It's getting good. We're turning into a torchless society. So on that note, I think I'm going to end this. Um, I want to thank um, Foyost again for um, suggesting the topic. Um, and if anyone's got any other topics to suggest, um, feel free. I'm happy for any, and also any feedback. I'm happy with that. So yeah, basically, um, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next time.